Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started, everyone, so that we don't delay our time with Dr. Toon today. So, um, as you all know, I am Dr. A. And I am Dr. Tay. Hey, everybody. Hey, hey, everybody. Can we get some waves? <laughs> Can we get some waves? Oh, look at that. All right. So we're going to go and get ahead and get started. Um, this is Conversations with Kids and Stemineers. We are so excited that you all came back to join us this week. We have an exciting and amazing guest. So I just wanted to say hello, and then I'm going to turn it over to Dr. Tay to both introduce our guests and to give us our norms and housekeeping rules. Okay, take it away, Dr. Tay. Okay, so let's start with a few housekeeping rules because we have a lot of new people today. So the major rule is you can always take your camera off of mute so you can talk to us. So feel free to let us know if you have any questions, if you add to the conversation or whatever else. And do not be ashamed, do not be embarrassed, do not be shy because we're all here to talk about the same thing in a friendly environment. The next thing is we have to have your video on for security reasons, okay? So if you don't have your camera on, can we please get you to have your camera on so we can see everybody's amazing faces during this session of Couch Combos. So, as Dr. A has already told you, today we have our amazing guest, Dr. Toon, and just a few things about her. She not only is a scientist, an amazing scientist at that, she does things like cell sorting or using magnetic properties within cells to just kind of study them and look at them. Anybody know what a magnet is? Anybody seen a magnet, like magnet on a refrigerator or anything? Okay, so that's how I learned about Dr. Toon. She uses things like magnets inside of the laboratory so she can study, do her research. And she also does a lot more other things. She's what you know as a immunologist. Anybody know what an immunologist is? Okay, so she's gonna provide some information about that. I don't wanna give away that because that's what her topic for today. So. Dr. Toom is what we call kind of a superhero in science. So she helps out with making sure we understand our bodies, understand what's going on, and it helps us to cure or come up with cures for a lot of things that affects humans. So without further ado, I'm going to make sure we give all the attention to Dr. Toom. And remember, at any point, if you have any questions or comments, you could take your mic off of mute and tell us, okay? So welcome, Dr. Toom. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm so happy to be here today. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Dr. Chum, or you can call me Dr. Danielle, that's okay. Um, as Dr. Tay said, I'm an immunologist, which means I study how the immune system works. Does anybody know what their immune system is? Yes, Declan? It's a part of your body. Yeah, perfect. That is definitely part, it definitely is part of our bodies. Can anybody else add to that? Uh, Maggie. Um, it's part of your lungs. It's part of your lungs. This is very true. Very important. This is very important and necessary for recent events. Yes. So, um, yes. Um, it's the name says Javen, but I think I uh, your names are different. It means his system keeps you from getting sick. Keeps people from getting sick. Perfect. Yes. Anybody else wants to add to it? If you know what your immune system is? Declan, you have more to say? It is a part of our body. And of course, air pollution is what our youngs don't want to breathe out. This is true. This is true. This is true. Yeah, so these are great answers. Your immune system is definitely part of your body. And it's definitely part of your lungs. It's in your mouth. It's in your ears. It's in your eyes. It's in every part of your body. And what your immune system does is, as you said, prevents you from getting sick. But have you ever wondered how it does that? Doesn't, can anybody take a guess? All right, so today I will be showing you how the immune system protects you from getting sick. Cause I'm sure who here has had the flu before? Raise your hand if you've had the flu. Raise your hand, exactly. Has you, have you ever had a stomach ache? Have you ever touched your stomach and been like, I'm not feeling too good? Have you ever had a headache? Who's had a headache? Exactly, right. And so you wonder, if you have an immune system, why are you getting all these things? Your immune system is why when you get a headache and you get a stomach ache and you get the flu, 
your immune system actually helps fight it and then you get better. So I actually have a very short presentation. Um, if I could uh, share my screen right here. Um, yeah, Dr. Tay, could you take over for just a second as I share my screen? Let's see. Uh, so did anybody bring their coloring pencils, crayons, papers, or anything? So we're ready to color some superheroes that you find in the body? Okay, let me see. Let me see what crayons and stuff we have. Can I see? Okay, good. Who has markers? Anybody have markers? Oh, I see some markers in there. And what about coloring pencils? Some, okay, somebody has coloring pencils. Perfect. So I want you just keep in your mind what you think your superheroes in your body looks like. And that, that's the segue that I'm going to provide you before we get back to Dr. Swoon. Perfect. Um, can you still hear me? Or am I muted? I'm good. Um, can you see my screen? So, or? so Dr. Twoom, if you can stop your share so I can make you the speaker view one more time. Okay, sure. Start it right back. All right. All right, there you go. You can start it right back. Okay, I can start it right back. All right. Okay. Um, and I just want to ask that you can see the whole screen. You don't see the video on the side, right? You see the whole screen. Perfect. All right, so today, we're gonna be talking about your immune system, which are the superheroes in your body. Um, your immune system, right here. Yep, oh, what's happening? No, not the circle of death. There we go. Your immune system definitely keeps you healthy, as you guys were saying, so that whenever you get sick, you're able to fight it and overcome it and be able to have fun with your friends and family. But what happens if you're sick and not feeling well, right? As you were saying, some of you have had fevers before, you've had the flu, your stomach has hurt you. Um, what causes, like what causes these like headaches, what causes these stomach aches, what causes the flu? You have something called bacteria and viruses. Raise your hand if you've ever heard of bacteria and viruses. Okay, so can anybody share with me uh, what they know about bacteria and viruses? My mom, she told me that like viruses, they take over your body. Mm -hmm. like, coronavirus is a type of virus that like attacks your lungs and it stops you from breathing and that's how it kills you. Yeah, yeah. The coronavirus definitely does take over your lungs and can kill you if it's not uh, controlled properly. That's true. Can anybody else add to that? Yes, Declan? Um, Go ahead, say it again, buddy. Germs. Germs. Yes. Where do you get germs from? Your body. <laughs> you know, it's interesting. You actually do have bacteria in your body, but they're actually good for you. But you can always eat your yogurt. But you usually get germs from, you know, when you go outside and you touch dirty things and then you come home and you don't wash your hands. That's why when you come out from, you know, if you go outside, the minute you come home, go to your bathroom and wash your hands with soap and water, that would get rid of all the germs so that you will not get sick. And that's why, because germs are in the air and that's why you have to wear a mask sometimes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely, especially during COVID. COVID. Yeah, especially during COVID, that's true, that's true. Anybody else add to it? No? So, if you don't wash your hands, then germs will get in, in your body and then you will get sick. Exactly, exactly. And so you have germs like these, like bacteria and viruses that look like this. And you know, if someone wants to take a stab at drawing any of these, I would love to see. Um, and you can put your own twist to it if you want. Um, you can make it any color you want. Germs come in different colors, different sizes. Um, so if you if you want, if anybody wants to take a stab at it, please go ahead and and draw these uh, viruses and bacteria that are on the screen. If you have your coloring pencils and your paper, go for it. So yeah, um, anybody? Quick drawing of it. 
Right. So these bacteria and viruses, as you guys were saying, can enter your body through, you know, breathing. Um, if you're touching things that are not clean, um, if you, you know, even if you shake hands, if you touch a doorknob um, outside there, you can get germs on your hands. And if you come home and you don't wash your hands, then you will, let's say, eat food, you eat a snack, and then these germs will enter your stomach and then give you a stomach ache, and then you'll be so upset and you can't enjoy your day, right? So that's why our immune system exists because your immune system comes up with so many ways of actually fighting these bacteria and viruses. So the question is, how does your immune system do this? Um, can anybody take a guess? How do you think your immune system will get rid of all these germs that make you sick? Yep, go for it. Um, you get shots that have like, for the flu shot, you get the virus in it. And then your body tries to fight that. And, it, and that's how one way you can, that's one way you get shots that help. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the shots you're talking about, it's called a vaccine, right? And for the flu vaccine, it's not, what they do is they give you like a, a version of the virus that has been killed, basically. Um, it's just enough information for your immune system to see that, oh, this looks like a virus, and then be able to like mount a response to it. So that if you leave the doctor's hospital, I mean the doctor's office, and then you come into contact with the real life flu virus, your immune system can actually say like, oh, I've met this before. I can, I can get rid of it very quickly. So this is why vaccines are very important. Um, can anybody else add to how the immune system fights back? I saw a hand. Yes. Um, I forget your name. I know your sister is called Khalees, but I forget your name. Wait, you have the green pencil. Are you muted? Wait, I, I can't hear you. The immune system fights back by eating the uh, by eating the bad germs. Wait, can you repeat the the first sentence? The immune system fights back by eating bad germs. How does it? How do they eat them? How do they eat them? No? That's a very good answer. But how do they eat them? You can just I don't know how. You don't know how. That's great. That's a solid question. I'll, I'll, I'll actually help answer that today. Um, Nick Rains. I know your hand was up. Yes. The gentleman in the blue t-shirt. You had your hand up. Oh, no, I can't. I think your volume is a bit low. Uh, if you eat good food, then it will go away, and then you won't have any problems with, like, having your, like, stomach hurting or your head hurting. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm having technical issues here. Yeah, so definitely eating good food is very important because um, in a lot of food, you have a lot of nutrients that actually help your immune cells do their job. And so having access to good food that is nutritious, um, like vegetables and fruits, um, are definitely important towards helping your immune system work properly. So today, I'm actually going to introduce you to about three cells in your immune system that are definitely important towards helping you fight off germs. The first um, cell I'm going to introduce you to is this cell right here. It's called a macrophage or a big eater. And I forget who answered the question about how the immune system can um, eat the germs, but this particular cell right here, that's its entire job. Its job is to just see the germ and it eats it, tears it apart, and throws it away. Um, so if anybody wants to take a stab at it, you can, I, I like to think of it like Pac-Man, where it just comes and just like eats up the germs as they enter your body. Um, and so whenever 
you feel sick, uh, just know that you have these cells called macrophages or big eaters that are there to eat up all the germs and get rid of them. So can anybody re uh, repeat uh, to me what a big eater is, a big eater cell is? Yep, yeah, go for it. It's a white shell with lots of black spots. <laughs> yes, it is a white blood cell. Um, a macrophage is definitely a white blood cell, but remember what it does is that it eats the germs and gets rid of it. It's one way your immune system gets rid of germs. It eats it and it gets rid of it. Okay, so another cell, another way your immune system actually helps fight against uh, viruses and germs is that it covers them in these things called antibodies. And I want to introduce you to this particular cell called a B cell, or as you like to call it, I call it the buddy. So as you can see here, a buddy has this, uh, has a bow and an arrow, and it has these arrows that are, so if, if there's a germ in your life, buddy creates these arrows called antibodies. Has anybody heard that word before? Raise your hand if you've heard the word antibodies before. You've never heard of it before. Wait, I need to make sure I can see everybody. Yes, you've, I can see, yeah. Two hands are up. Three hands are up. Four hands. Can somebody tell me what an antibody is? Who wants to take a stab at it? Maggie, I think. Yes. Antibody? The vaccine that can help, and it can tell. Um, it helps, and it tells if you're sick or not, mm -hmm. and if you're right. But I don't know much, but I know an antibody is something that can tell, and it's a vaccine too. Yeah, that's that's actually more than enough to know about an antibody. Anyone else? Um, there are two ladies. I um, I'm not seeing your name in the presenter view. Um, but yeah. I see you. One has a ponytail and one has, yeah. What's your names? What are your names? Jamie. Emmeline. Emmeline. I saw your hands up for antibodies. Do you guys want to share with us what you know about antibodies? Antibodies. Help your body fight back. Help our body fight back. Perfect. Perfect. That's a great answer. Thank you for sharing. Anybody else have their hands up for antibodies? No? So yeah, as you were right, um, you guys were completely right, and antibodies actually help your body fight. And the reason they, they do this actually um, by actually coating the germs with these arrows, called, you know, as I like to think of them, I think of antibodies like arrows because they coat the entire germ and then help other cells in your immune system see that oh my God, this is bad, let's get rid of it. And that's um, what vaccines actually do. Vaccines help you create arrows that help target germs whenever they come into your body. So another way that your immune system fights against um, germs is that it creates these arrows called antibodies that coat germs and help your immune system recognize that, hey, this is not a friendly person, this is not a friendly germ, let's get rid of it and let's get, let's, let's kill it and it's gone. All right, and so the last cell I would like to introduce you to, it's one of my favorite cells, it's called a T cell or as I like to call it, Captain T. So has anybody heard of T cells before? Hands up if you've ever heard of a T cell before. So, oh, you're meeting T cells for the first time. All right, wait, no, someone, did Emmeline have her hand up? Oh, okay. Do you want to share with us, Janie? Think. It helps them fight back. That's pretty awesome. Yes, T cells are one of my favorite because I like to call them fire breathers. Um, they're like little dragons for me because of how they actually kill um, germs. But what's really cool about T cells is that they have the ability to create these things called hole punchers. Has anybody punched a hole in paper before? You know how when you have paper, you've punched a hole? Yeah, you've, you've used a hole puncher before, right? Exactly, so T cells are actually able to do that. 
they're able to actually punch holes in the germs. And if you punch, if you punch a hole in something, you can actually just tear it apart, right? And so T cells, you know, create these hole punchers called perforins, or just as I like to call them, hole punchers. And these hole punchers are able to get into the germ and then have the germ disappear. And so to summarize all we've learned so far, for us to be able to fight off germs and viruses, can somebody, I'm just gonna ask if you remember, what are the three ways we've learned that the immune system is able to fight back against germs? Raise your hand if you remember one of them. Wait, um, I just need to make sure, here we go. Um, Emmeline? You change your mind. You change your mind. <laughs> Anyone want to want to help me summarize? Yes, please. Uh, you have the animal print shirt on. I'm sorry, I can't see your name on the. Piper. Piper. Yes, Piper. You want to help um, us? Like the big eater one will like eat the germs when it comes in. Perfect. Yes, that is one great way of doing it. You, the immune system is able to eat it. Great job, Piper. Can somebody else say another way the immune system helps get rid of germs? They eat them? Any other way? Yep. They poke holes in them. They poke holes in them. Perfect. And then what is the last one? You can get vaccinated. They what? Wait, could you please repeat that? I, I couldn't hear that last person. Think of Robin Hood. Think of arrows. Raise your hand. You know. <laughs> yes, Janie. <laughs> Go for it. it. Go for it. The Buddy shoots arrows at the, the, antibodies. the antibodies. Yes, so Buddy has arrows called antibodies that it's able to shoot at the germs and let the immune system know, this is not friendly, let's get rid of it. So yeah, perfect. So yeah, you, the immune system can eat them, as you guys said, it can shoot arrows at them and it can poke holes and then you have no germs and you will not be sick. So yeah. Whenever you get sick and you feel better, definitely say a huge thank you to your immune system. All right, thank you guys so much. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop sharing at this point. And then if you have any questions, please feel free to send them my way about what you've learned so far. Or you can show me your artwork of the germs, of the big eater, of Buddy, of, of of Captain T, if you want. Yes, uh, Nick Rains. I'm sorry, I, for, I forget the name of the lady. But yeah, please unmute yourself. It's Piper. Wait, no, it's Piper. Piper with the arrow going around it. <laughs> nice. And I do the super, super one, and like the one that makes the dots, and I made this um, Oh, wow, that is a very nice germ. Good job. Uh, yes, Declan, do you wanna show us, what do you wanna talk about? Do you have a question or you wanna show us your art? Uh, I wanna show you your art. What did you draw? I actually like draw, uh, I actually like draw like something with crayons. Uh -huh. and, it's, and it's showing these like, and it's showing like these like cells like, like that have like hairs right here, gr like grabbing, uh, and it's showing them grabbing like one of these 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 germs. So is it eating the germ? Is it poking a hole? Is it shooting arrows at it? It's just grabbing it. Yeah, it's just grabbing it, and it's gonna throw it in the trash. <laughs> that is great. I love that. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Um, so yeah, great job, Declan. Kaden, did you guys have your art to show us? Yes. Yes, show us what you drew and tell us what, what it's about. 
Well, um, I do the um, germs from the first one. You do the germs? So how would you get rid of that germ? Which, which of the ways would you like to get rid of the germ? Would you like to eat it? Would you like to poke holes in it? Or would you like to shoot arrows at it? I poke holes in them. You poke holes in them? Perfect. That is a great way. I, I, I really prefer that. <laughs> it's, it's fun. Um, hi, Maggie. Yes, Maggie, do you have art to show? Do you have a question? Wow, what um, is it? It's a germ. Uh-huh. How would you like to get rid of this germ? Um, by taking a shot. You're going to take shots at it with the arrow, with the antibodies? Great. That's a great. That's a great one. Um, I think the kids under Javen. There you go. This is, this, is a germ. this is a germ. I just draw a germ. That's a nice germ. How would you get rid of that germ? Uh, by making a cure. It's a coronavirus. By making what? A cure. A cure. A cure for coronavirus. So that was was that a coronavirus? The cure. Okay, I love that. We have to get you a lab. What is the other artwork? I see, I see a second piece of art. Look. What's that? What is that? It's a Scoopy. It's a what? What? Explain what's a Scoopy. What kind of virus is Scoopy There's sea hairs and a lung body. And how would you like to get rid of it? And how would you get rid of it? You shoot it. What? <laughs> what? What? You're going to shoot it with the antibody arrows? Or are you going to poke holes in it? Yeah, antibody arrows. You're going to use the antibody arrows. OK, good. <laughs> okay. Um, anybody else want to share their art, have a question? Javon, yes. Wait, you're muted. Can you tell us what you drew? I I drew. Wait, hold up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can turn this thing off. You turn off your virtual screen. Okay, so while you're figuring that out, I think Malik is back. Malik, do you want to share your artwork with us? Ew, my thing is lagging. It's what? It's lag. It's my internet connection. That's okay. Internet connection. Um, so I do like um the bacteria. I like those, and it's trying to eat it. So yeah. Very nice. That's really good. That is very good. Thank you. Yeah. Anybody else? Emmeline? Oh, yeah, please. It's my picture. Oh, what is going on in this picture? I love it. It's a white blood cell dog that eats the germs. <laughs> that is very nice. I like that. So it's eating it. Is it also going to shoot any antibody arrows or poke holes in them? Um, this is the helper T cell, right? <laughs> oh, very nice. So is that one. See, there's some immunologists in that house. <laughs> I love that. Thank you for sharing. Thank you so much. Anybody else? No? But yeah, thank you so much for- I think uh, Javon. I think Javon. Oh, Javon, pick this. Yeah, off. Javon, let's see it. Let's see it. Wait, are you muted? No, Javon, you're muted. <laughs> yeah. That the big germ was trying to infect the whole city. Okay, wow. So how did the city fight the big germ? Well, I was going to draw like a superhero with like a scrub thing. Uh-huh. With a shirt that I scrub it and then it turns tiny and then it goes away. Would your superhero shoot antibody arrows at this big germ? Mm, don't know. 
<laughs> well, when you know, let let us definitely know. Uh, looking forward to the artwork of that. Maybe your superhero might poke holes in the in the, in the big germ, and that might kill it. You never know. But if you do, please share with us uh, for part two. <laughs> do that. Um, so yeah, are there any questions you have for me about your new system or being a scientist? Raise your hand if you do, I, I can help answer it. No, you're good? Doesn't look like we So can we get everybody to raise your picture one more time? Let's get them all at the same time. Let's take a picture together. Whoa. This is amazing. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, I'm gonna count to three. I'm not ready yet. You're not ready? Okay, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna count to three so everybody can get a picture. Let's we'll say cheese on three, okay? Well, no, we'll say, uh, what do you want us to say, Dr. Troon? Oh, I don't, this is long, immune system is long. Did you say superhero? Superhero, so on three, let's we'll say- So, so Javon, Javon, you have to show us your picture and then you can finish it later. Is that okay? Oh, is that, I, I didn't know what we were waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> Javon wanted to finish his picture, aw. Okay, so on three, let's say superhero. Everybody raise your picture and cheese so we can take a picture, okay? One, two, three. Superhero. Oh. Okay, let me check. I think we got a good picture here. Yes, amazing. Good job. Awesome. Any last minute questions? Anybody want to tell Dr. Tum anything? Let her know how you feel about today. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, at the end thank of every session, you. we say thank you together. We're going to say thank you on the count of three, if that's okay. You all ready? Take your mutes off. Thank you. Take your mute off. We're going to do it on the count of three. All right. I think Caden uh, 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 and Khalees, can you take your mute off? You got it, Savannah? You got your mute off? i doing anyone without what metal. Yes. Not metal. Oh, I think those are just different backgrounds you can do. All right, on the count of three, we're going to say thank you, Dr. Twom. Ready? One, two, three. Thank you, Dr. Twom. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. This was a lot of fun. Well, we're going to wrap up. A um, huge thank you to you, Dr. Toom, for uh, telling us all the things about the immune system and our superheroes and how we can I learned a lot today. Um, and hopefully our junior seminars learned a lot as well. Um, you all, I hope you are ready for next week. We're going to have a whole week of coding and robotics. So if your parents have not registered, go and get on them. Next week is coding and robotics. All right. Well, that's it for today, everybody. You can go ahead and bye. 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 Bye, Javon. Bye, everybody. Bye, Emmeline. Bye, Janie. Bye, Peggy. Bye, Elliot. See you later. All right. Bye. You gotta sign off. You gotta sign off, Olive.